Salutations all, this is Christy Thomas, and this is the video lesson discussing the requirements for the second storytelling mini-speech. This, the theme of this particular storytelling speech is, let's have dinner. So what do I mean by this? All right, folks, I want you to chat about someone you would invite to dinner. Clarification. Who would you invite to dinner? This can be anyone from history. It can be a historical figure, a political figure, a celebrity, from any point in time. So if you want to sit down and have dinner with Cleopatra, tell me about it. I want you to tell me why you chose this person. What is it about them? What intrigues you enough to want to sit down and have a dinner, a conversation over dinner with this person. So again, this person is someone they can be real, like, and it could be someone you know. Perhaps it's a grandparent or a friend or someone that you're not really near or someone that maybe is not with us anymore, and you want to just have a conversation with them, just for old times' sake. It can be someone current so it could be a current celebrity or politician or personality author um athlete news anchor um designer or whatever or it can be someone from history so or and it could this could be a real person that we physically know or it could be someone you know, they don't have to necessarily be what real, but they can be from his, you know, history as well. The technical requirements for the speech is there is no outline due because it is a mini speech, and there's really not a time requirement. But I would love, 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 love to hear you speak for at least a minute. That's bare minimum. So I really want to be able to engage your excitement and your speech patterns and to do so I needed to talk for a little bit longer than a minute but the point of the mini storytelling speeches is to get you more comfortable talking in front of a camera or your phone or your computer however you choose to record yourself but just to actually just get you more comfortable speaking in general out loud <laughs> um, that's the point of these mini storytelling speeches so again you can choose anyone, current or from history, and discuss why you want to sit down, have dinner, and chat with them. So, like I said, it can be any point in time, up to current. Um, that person can still be on Earth or not. Um, but just tell me why. What is it about this person, this personality, that is so intriguing to you that you want to talk to with more. So, examples. I gave Cleopatra as an example. So, I'd be like, I, if I were to sit down and have dinner with Cleopatra, I find her storyline very intriguing. You know, she wasn't born an Egyptian. She was born, I believe, was Greek. And she was one of the last pharaohs, recorded pharaohs, that we know of. You know, and... Her affairs with Julius Caesar and all that. You know, just, I find her storyline fascinating. Or maybe you want to talk to Plato because you want to know more about the little blurb he wrote on Atlantis. Or some of his other philosophies or theories. Perhaps you want to talk to a president. Could be current, could be past. Why? What is it about that person that's so interesting to you? You know, maybe it's... Because they've said something and you want more, you want to know more. Or perhaps it's someone that you've known and you just want to be able to sit down and have that moment again. If I were to choose someone from my personal life, I would sit down with my grandmother. She passed many, 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 many years ago. She never knew, never had the opportunity to know my kids, her great grandchildren. So I would just love to sit down and talk to her about life since I last saw her, my accomplishments. You know, this is what's happened. This is the life that I lived. Um, you can choose current. Perhaps there's a 
athlete that you are super fond of. It could be any athlete. You know, maybe you want to talk to them about their style, their technique, or maybe you just really want to get to know this person more. Or you can choose, when I say like personalities, like YouTubers and vloggers or um, personalities that you can see like on Instagram or social me- across social media platforms. Um, I enjoy listening to Murder and Mystery Monday with Bailey Sarian. So, you know, I would love to pick her brain about other murder mysteries and true crime stuff because things are interesting to me. Um, I used to love watching Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack. You know, oh, it'd be cool to have a conversation with him about all the different stories that he told. So, while I'm off on a tangent here, um, or maybe there's like... A famous chef or a musician you know current or past someone whose music really resonate with you maybe you just want to sit down and be like I want to thank you for your lyrics I want to thank you for your message I want to thank you if it, your music is what has inspired me to a maybe start singing or picking up an instrument or your music inspired me or helps me when I'm in a not so happy place or your music just really brings out the bubbliness and the enthusiasm that I feel in the world. So there could be a multitude of reasons why you want to sit down and have dinner with someone. But I want you to pick one person. Current, from any time, point in history to current. This can be a real person. Um, You can even choose characters from literature and stuff. I don't know, (laughs) but... I just want you to tell me who you would pick. So when you're presenting your mini speech to me, begin by saying who you would invite to dinner. I would love to have a dinner, and my guest of honor would be, insert person here, and tell me why. What is it about this particular person that makes you want to conversate with them? What is, is it something, the line their career path or something that they've done or something that they said if it's someone from your personal life what's the connection you know just explain to me why you would pick this person to have dinner with all right folks again this is just a mini storytelling speech there is no outline due and i would love to hear you speak for at least a minute that would be fabulous but it's come to dinner who would you pick to have dinner with Who would you pick to have dinner with and have a in-depth conversation with? So tell me your person and tell, you know, chat about why, why you chose that person. Anyway, folks, I hope you have fun with this mini speech. The point of these mini speeches, you have one more left and you did this on one, is just to help you find a comfort in your speaking voice. Because sometimes if we, I give you an umbrella topic and let you go from there, I find that People seem to get more comfortable in that speaking situation. And that's all I'm, I want you to find a comfort in your speaking voice. Anyway, folks, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. We'll chat. Um, if you need more descriptive detail, there is in the syllabus content folder the guidelines for the mini speech requirements. So you can also click there. Anywho, this speech is due at the end of week 12, which is next Sunday. Give me a second and I'll pull up the date. The 27th. So by midnight on March 27th, the second mini speech will be due. And I will post that due date as well. This is just your heads up requirement that I like to post like a week and a half before it's actually due. Okay, folks. Have an amazing day. Bye.